while some parts of Edo State are rejoicing, other parts are not rejoicing. And if you ask me why, you know, this part of Edo State is begging Governor Godwin Obaseki to end years of neglect. What has he neglected them on exactly? And which local government is that? I'm very sure that every one of you want to know because, of course, uh, everyone believes that uh, Governor Godwin Obaseki is a man that does not really... I uh, want the people to go through suffering and he does not just pick local government. He ensures he does the goodwill of the people in every local government across the states. And, uh, well, we'll see what exactly and why this community is begging him not to neglect them. And uh, even as they have been neglected for years, that they plead for him not to neglect them as well because they've gone through a lot and, Perhaps they've been through a lot in their roads, electricity, and more. But I'll bring you details on why they have actually begged him not to neglect them this time around. Anyway, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you have not. And also give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you get notified anytime we drop a new video. Okay, let us dive right in here and see why. Uh, this community and local government is begging Governor Godwin Obaseki not to neglect them. Yes, the people of Ubeka community in Orion local government area of Edo State have said that Governor Godwin Obaseki's second term election had provided them with a key to unlock years of their neglect and oppression. The people who spoke to our correspondent in Benin City through Mr. John Unu, their spokesman, however, commended the entire people of Orionwa local government area and the People's Democratic Party PDP for voting en masse for Governor Obaseki and assured that the entire Edo state would witness rapid development in the next four years. He thanked the people for the support given to the PDP despite the locality being the hometown of the APC governorship candidate Pastor Osage is a Iyamu adding, we kept the margin to return Governor Godwin Obaseki during the governorship election. Even though they tried to entice our people with money to buy their votes, our people came out to vote Obaseki because of his achievements in the past four years. Uno said that Governor Godwin Obaseki would give priority attention to rural communities in his quest to develop the state. While saying the governor Baseki has broken the chains to make Edo people free from godfatherism bondage, Unu said, when rural areas are developed, the people will be happy. And I can assure you that within the next four years, Edo people will witness massive development. This is very important because Obaseki is not a pushover in politics and no more godfathers in Edo state. You know, the truth is, as there are some things about politics that um, uh, sometimes people are always so scared that uh, some communities or perhaps an opposition uh, local government would be an issue for the elected governor. So I don't think it should be like that because now these are Oriwa community, uh, Oriwa local government, the Ubeka community, why they're actually pleading with Governor Gordon Obaseki is because they believe that perhaps maybe most of them did not vote for PDP. And uh, though uh, Obaseki won that local government, but uh, perhaps that community did not vote for him. And, uh, you know, over time, they might have been, they, have, they might have been forgotten. Over time, they might have been forgotten that they feel that, okay, this is a good opportunity. Governor Gordon Obaseki is a man of the people and is a man that loves his people. So definitely, if he wants to do any project, he should not forget the Ubeka community. And they are quick to really bring him in, you know, to do something in their community. And, you know, their community might have been forgotten for years that they've been going through a lot. They might not, they might not even have good roads. They might not have good water. They might not even have electricity in such a local government. And that is why they are calling on the government and pleading that they should not forget them. I know the representative of Godwin Obaseki told them that he really appreciates that local government, that is the Oriomo local government, for coming out en masse to vote for Governor Godwin Obaseki, that they, they never disappointed her. Even though that local government was for 
you know, Pastor Sage is a yam that they still proved that they want a re-election of God in Obaseki. And indeed, he said he got it. And he also won that local government. He said for that alone, he appreciates every one of them. He said that is to show that they really understand what good governance actually means. And um, he said they should be rest assured that Governor Godwin Obaseki would ensure that the next four years that there will be great development in the state and not just the state even their community will experience uh, a development as well and they should just keep supporting the government of the day that everything that they really wanted that they would get it and he, the 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 guy also said he said he can remember how they were enticed with money and all kinds of things for them to be you know for them to vote for the other party but of course they said they knew what they wanted they wanted a re-election of governor godwin Obaseki, and they rejected their money. He said, and some of them that even collected the money. They collected it, but yet they never voted for them. They said because they want a serious development in their community and in their local government. So definitely they are calling on Governor Gordon Obaseki to please not forget about them and support them in every way to ensure that their community grows. Because he said, if a community grows, that the people will be happy and he said he can also assure them that within the next four years, Edo people will also, uh, you know, witness massive de uh, development. That uh, this is very important, very important because Governor Baseki is not a pushover in politics and not no more Godfather in Edo State. So definitely, everything is doing is doing it from his own initiative and is not even trying to impress, you know, anyone. Because definitely, you know, some of the things that actually caused the rift between uh, God, you know, Baseki and uh, uh, Comrade Adam Soshomale were some of those Godfatherism things, you know, those push buttons like, okay, this is what you should do and this is how this contract should go and all of that. But, you know, this time around, he said there's no Godfather wherever or whatsoever. So definitely all he's concentrating on is ensuring that the people of the state get good development in every aspect. So there's nothing like, okay, someone is telling me to give this person contract or this contract is going to somebody that I know and all of that. No. There's no Godfatherism anywhere. He's facing his government squarely and ensuring that he develops the state in every capacity that he can. And we really hope that God will help him and uh, direct him on what to do. And he should not even become a pushover, like it is said earlier, that he will do everything that will make the people of the state happy. And even those little communities, he will also help to develop them. So, guys, from here, I say thank you for listening. If there's anything you have to say, don't forget to drop it in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate you. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.